and welcome to Youth Basketball Game of the Week. This week we have boys, 7th, 8th grade, Cavaliers versus the Knicks. Let's get it on. All right, there's the tip. And welcome to Youth Basketball Game of the Week. We have the Cavs winning possession. They're in the gold jerseys and the Knicks in the orange. Ball's tipped away. And the Cavs. Number 10 goes up for a shot and is fouled and gets the free throw line. You are watching Issaquah Youth Basketball Game of the Week. This is put on by the Issaquah Parks and Recreation Department. Like I said, it's the Cavaliers versus the Knicks. Boys 7th and 8th grade. First free throws up. No good. This league is put on by the Issaquah Parks and Recreation Department. and has rules specifically for this league. We'll walk you through there. Two free throws up. Neither one are good. And the Knicks have the first possession of the game. There is no full court press until the last minute of the game. No zone defense. Mandatory substitution at the five minute mark. And no. F and a running clock, excuse me. And there are some other auxiliary rules, but basically it's designed as an instructional league. As the Knicks are patiently working the ball, ball's tipped away. Last touch, they're going to say by the Knicks. And the Cavs have the ball. Nope, they're going to reverse the call. I'm going to say the Knicks last touched it. And the Knicks inbound the basketball. Looking to take put the first points on the board of the day. There's a nice dribble drive by number two. And straight to the basket. And just like that, the Knicks take a 2-0 lead. Nice dribble drive by the Knicks on that play. Cavs working their offense here. Near side, number eight, looking for some help. Pass is red by number five of the Knicks. Knicks going number five. Can't get the layup to go. And number eight of the Cavs comes down with it, pushing it. Let's see if they can score in transition. Number eight, little drive down the lane. Loses control, but last touch by the Knicks. And the Cavs will maintain possession. Knicks get the rebound. Have a ch chance to increase the lead here. There's a deep three. Boom! And counted. And just like that, the Knicks take a 5-0 lead with the deep three. That early three-pointer is going to cause probably the Cavaliers are going to have to come out on that. Might open up some more. And nice and pass inside and good finish. Big man number 10 from the high post hitting the low, the low cutter number 8. And the Cavaliers get on the board with a nice play. Well, it's a two-man play. There's another dribble drive. Off the back of the rim, no good. Knicks come down with it. Kicking it out for number three. Another three by number five. And count it. That's two back-to-back -back threes by number five of the Knicks. And the Knicks take an 8-2 lead. Number 10, right. Strong move down the lane and is foul. Then we'll go to the free throw line. See, number 10 was 0, and 0 for 2 his first time at the free throw line. See how he fares this time around. First one's up. Off the front of the rim, no good. Second one's up. And nothing but net as number 10 has found his range from the free throw line. Yeah, we're working down to six minutes in the f left in the first quarter. Working our way to that first five-minute mark for mandatory substitutions. Number two for a three. Off the back of the rim, no good. And the Cavs come down with the rebound. Chance to cut into that five-point lead by the Knicks. Number eight. Looking to drop it into the low post. No, shooting a three off the back of the rim. Fight for the rebound. And the Knicks come away with it. A little backdoor cut by the Knicks. Number five. Oh, looking for a cutter down the middle. And the pass is stolen away. Let's 
See if the Cavs can take advantage of the turnover. Number 10 of the Cavs for a deep two. Off the rim, no good. Put back, no good. Tipped out, and the Cavs track down the rebound. And there's a whistle for the first set of mandatory substitutions. Score Knicks, eight, Cavs, three. There's a high pick. Number 10. Passes inside. A little ball fake, dribble drive. Ball stripped away cleanly, but Cavs are able to come down with it, and the pass out is stolen away. Knicks in transition. Number 8 backs off as the Cavs transition defense able to stop him. A deep three for number 5. That was, that was NBA length as uh, number 5 was feeling pretty confident with back-to-back -back threes, but that one's a little deep. And the Cavs get a foul at the other end on a reach. And they will maintain possession of the ball, trailing by five. Inbound pass stolen away. And the Knicks set up their offense once again. Oh, ball fake dribble drive by number eight. A little hesitation. Looking for some help. And the Knicks have been really patient with their offensive sets. And we've got a foul. We're going to say an illegal pick. And we're going to get a turnover on the Knicks. Pick by the Cavs. We got to travel. Number 10 got the ball stuck on his hip as he was trans transferring from dribble. And there's a quick turnover by the Cavs. Both teams with back to back unforced turnovers. And we got a kick violation. And the Cavs will get possession of the ball. That was a nice promising looking pass as number five of the Cavs, or the Knicks, had dribbled, drew the defense, and looked to pass it to the other cutter, but Cavs' hands were able to knock the pass down and get the turnover. Let's see if the Cavs get some offense. It's a wild hook shot by number 10 of the Cavs. Goes over the backboard and out of bounds. Cavs are having a hard time getting good looks at the basket at the as the Knicks defense is really stifling them. Same with the Cavs, though. The Cavs defense has kind of held the Knicks in check, except for a couple of three-pointers by number five. Let's see if they can get something going towards the basket. There's number eight. Comes up a little short. And Cavs with a quick turnover. Knicks are in the orange jerseys. Cavs are in the gold. Knicks are ahead 8-3 to three with just over a minute and a half left in the first period of play. Season's winding down. And we've got a carry violation and by the Knicks number five. So another unforced turnover. Dribble drive into the corner. There's a three-pointer from the near side. Shots blocked. Last touch by, looks like, the Knicks. And the Cavs will maintain position. No, they're going to say last touch by the Cavs. And the Knicks may get possession of the ball. Knicks working the ball far side. Nice read by number 10 of the Cavs. Going coast to coast. Too hard off the backboard. And he will be going to the free throw line. As number 10 of the Knicks prevented the easy bucket. And is going to make his counterpart, number 10 on the Cavs, earn it from the free throw line. And this will probably bring us to the end of the first period of play here.
First free throws up. Off the front of the rim, no good. Second one's up. And same location, same result. And the Knicks have the ball with uh, enough time to get a shot off here to end the first period of play. Let's see if they can get a shot off. They have just about five or six seconds left. Good look inside. Ball stolen away, and that'll bring us to the end of one after one period of play. The Knicks eight, Cavs three. You're watching Youth Basketball Game of the Week. All right, as we return to play, Knicks have the ball in the lead. Double drive by number two, and he's fouled as he takes a strong move to the basket with a chance to earn a couple from the charity stripe. So nice drive by the Knicks. They, they kind of had settled for, um, after those back-to-back -back threes, hadn't really been taking a lot of stuff to the basket. And week in, week out, I always say, drive to the basket, good things happen. Get fouled, get to the free throw line. Nice looking free throw by number two of the Knicks. Second one's up, and it's good as well. Knicks with a seven-point lead. Cavs with the ball, looking to cut into that lead. Number eight down low. Nice soft move. Dances around the rim, and it's put back and counted as the Cavs, number eight, cuts the lead to five. Knicks working the ball far side. A little give and go play, tipped away. And here come the Cavs. Number eight, right down the lane. Nice pass inside and count it. Nifty passes. pass skips out of bounds and here comes the Cavs with a chance to cut the lead to one or tie it on this possession number eight little ball fake dribble drive tries that same pass but is denied as the Knicks sniffed out that little Little play where the number eight is drew the defense and then kicks it to the cutter. Nice defensive play by the Knicks. And there's a nice dribble drive. Pulls up short. Number two working his man. Step back. High Archer comes up with no rim. And the Cavs come down with the rebound. Another chance to cut into this lead. Or, take, or tie. Nice pass inside. A nice high low game by the Cavs. And now it's a nine point. Uh, one point lead by the Knicks as the Cavs have sl was slowly but surely chipped into that lead that was seven points not too long ago. There it is. Another pass stolen by number seven of the Cavs. And we got a whistle on the floor. And we got a... Needed a shoe tied there. We resume play with a chance for the Cavs to take their first lead of the game. There's a nice pass to the high post. Looking for some help. Pivots. Decides to take it himself. Got a forced up shot and gets the foul. And he's gonna go to the free throw line and shooting two. Number eight being aggressive. Kind of forcing up the shot, but forced his defender to foul him. And with a chance to tie or take the lead from the free throw line. First one's up, rattles in and out. No good. Second one's up. Off the back of the rim. 
Oh, but the Cavs are able to come down the rebound. Nice block by the Knicks, and the Knicks come away with the loose ball, ball after the block. Still clinging to that one-point lead as we work our way to the five-minute mark. There's a shot blocked by Cavaliers number eight, and the Cavaliers come around. There's a foul, a little push by the Knicks. Cavs will have the ball in inbounding. Inbound pass taken down by number eight. Launches up a shot, that, and that brings us to the five-minute mark. And it's a good game, one-point game here. Knicks 10, Cavaliers 9. Knicks with the ball and a one-point lead. Shots up, no good. Knicks track down the rebound, and there's a pass out that too strong and goes out of bounds. Cavaliers with the ball trailing by one. Number 10 with a soft little underhand looping shot. Kind of rattles in and out. When he left his hand, I didn't think he even had a chance. Oh, nice lead pass by number five. Unfortunately, number two is too deep under the rim. Couldn't get the ball free. Number 10 of the Cavs trying to go coast to coast. It looks like we might have a foul on the pass off. And the Cavs will have the ball underneath, trailing by one as we have three and a half minutes left in the first half of play. And it looks like, yeah, the Knicks are in bonus. So the Cavs for the rest of this half will be shooting free throws on every foul. See if they can make them count. First one's up and good. Second one's up, off the front of the rim, and the Knicks come away with it. Ball fake, dribble drive, number two, and he's fouled as he takes a strong move to the basket, forcing the action and getting to the free throw line with a chance for the Knicks to take back the lead. The Knicks have been a little bit complacent on their offense um, since the early going of the first period of play. But number two has taken the ball to the basket strong a couple times and gotten to the free throw line. And, oh, unfortunate. Looked like he had a uh, little shooter, nice shooter's touch, but just rolled out. Second one. Off the back of the rim, no good. But the Knicks come down with the rebound, kicks it out. Number two, four, a three. Off the back of the rim, no good. But the Knicks are able to come down with it again. Number two, going to attack the basket once again. And he does. Oh, this time too hard off the backboard. Number 10 of the Cavs going coast to coast and loses control. And it skips out of bounds. Last touch by Cavaliers number 10. And the Knicks have the ball on the turnover with a chance to take the lead with just over a minute and a half left in the first half. It's been a good game played by both teams. Nice tight battle here. Number five of the Knicks trying to break free. 
Nice pass down low. Shots up and good. Soft off the glass. Number 10 of the Knicks. And the Knicks take a two-point lead with a nice pass down low and conversion by the Knicks. There's a nice shot off the back of the rim. But number 10's there for the rebound. But his put back is no good. And the Knicks have a chance to extend that lead in the closing seconds of the first half of play. Number two once again working his way inside and just forces his way to the front of the rim and puts it in. Nice aggressive play by number two once again getting to the basket. Number nine of the Cavs gets the ball stripped away. And there's no uh, defense in the backcourt, so the Knicks will maintain possession on that. Can't steal the ball coming out of the backcourt. So the Knicks will have la last shot here. Let's see if they can put an exclamation point in the first half and go into the halftime with a little momentum. There's a deep three and count it. Oh, wow. And at the half, it's the Knicks 17 and the Cavaliers 10. You're watching Issaquah Youth Basketball Game of the Week. And at the halftime, it's the Cavaliers 10 and the Knicks 17. Cavs starting with the ball, trailing by seven points. First shot's up, no good. And here go the Knicks. Pulling it back out. It was a tight game going into the last couple minutes of the half. And then the Knicks, there's a deep three. Oh, off the front of the rim. But the putback is off the front of the rim, no good. And the Cavs come down with it. Cavs number 10. Tries a cross-court pass, skips out of bounds, and the Knicks get the ball in the turnover. As I was saying, the closing minutes of the first half, the Knicks took a 10, it was a 10-10 tie, and the Knicks went on a 7-0 run with a combination of aggressive dribble drives and a late three. So free throws and layups and a three-pointer, and there's a nice attack of the basket once again, and the Knicks keep are going back to the free throw line. So the Knicks figured it out in the second quarter, just attack the basket and good things will continue to happen. Here we go, Knicks number five at the free throw line with a chance to extend that lead. First one's up off the back of the rim. Second one's up and it's good and the Knicks have an eight point lead. There's a foul. Oh, no, balls. Yep, foul on the shot. So number two of the Cavs will get a chance to cut into that eight-point lead here. First one's up, and it's good. Second one's up, no good. But number 10 of the Cavs is able to sneak, sneak in and get the rebound. And just like that, they cut that eight point lead to five. Nice shot block by the Cavs and last touched by the Knicks. Cavs with the ball. Another chance to cut into that lead. Ooh, number eight goes down hard. Looks like he's okay. There's a pass out, number 10. Looking at that deep three, he had a notion for a second. Now 
There's a three-pointer off the side of the rim, no good. Number five of the Knicks. Nice pass, oh my goodness. <laughs> Number five had recognized that, it, that his man had broken free, but his teammate wasn't aware, but luckily looked up at the last second and got the ball, and then the layup was short, but uh, Good look, at, good look by number five of the Knicks. Shots up, no good. And the Knicks come down with the rebound. Knicks working the ball far side. Number five for another three. He's been off target the last couple times. Cavs come away with it. I think the Knicks need to continue to attack the basket. Nice steal, coast to coast. Is anybody going to stop him? Oh, might have avoided a little travel violation there. Number three with a nice dribble drive high off glass. The littlest guy on the court just takes it straight to the basket and increases that lead. Once again, Knicks attacking the basket. Good things are happening. Let's see if the Cavs can do the same. There's a deep two by number 10 of the Cavs. Skips off the front of the rim. We get to the five minute mark. Next set of mandatory substitution. Number five with a deep three and bounces off and that'll probably take us to the mandatory substitutions. All right, as we return to play, the Cavs are trailing 20 to 13. The last five minutes of the third period of play. Let's see if they can get the Cavs can get their offense going here. And we got to travel as number nine was waiting for a cutter. He got a little anxious with his pivot foot and drag it. Just like that, we have a turnover and a chance for the Knicks to increase that seven point lead as number two just takes it on his own. Dribble drive, no good. Offensive rebound, put back. Oh, bounces off the rim, but the Knicks come down with it. Third time is the charm. No, off the front of the rim, no good. Put back, no good. And the Cavs come away with it after a frenzy of offensive put back misses by the Knicks. And the Cavs maintain possession. Control of his dribble is tied up, and the possession arrow is in the favor of the Knicks. Beautiful give and go play by the Knicks, using utilizing the high post. Guard dropping it to the high post and cutting it down the lane, getting it right back. Just your basic give and go. But beautifully executed by the Knicks. There's a nice pass inside, shot block cleanly. Number four near side from about 12 feet, can't get it to go. Another give and go play, straight down the lane and count it again. The Knicks with back to back buckets. And now have taken a commanding 24 to 13 lead. Number nine with, with a shot from about six feet, can't get it to go. And the Knicks keep putting on the pressure. Number two, another dribble drive. Nice rebound. We'll step through, and we've got three seconds in the key violation. And number 10 couldn't get the ball off, and the Cavs get the ball on the turnover. Number three, little crossover. 
kicks it back out. Number eight has the ball stolen away. Number two with a three. Oh, bounces off the front of the rim. And that could have been a dagger. Cavs still have a chance, plenty of time. Just gotta start chipping away at this lead. Gotta start converting on the offensive end. Number three again with a nice dribble drive and we've got a foul on the floor. As number three attacked the basket and got fouled, putting the pressure on the defense. You gotta do it. And the pass inside is stolen away by the Knicks. Number two, dribble drive, no good. Those are good looks though by the Knicks every time. Number eight of the Cavs lose control of his dribble and the Knicks have the ball. Let's see if they try and take a little time off the clock as we tick down the last 30 seconds or so of the third quarter. Nice. Oh, there they try that give and go play. But the Cavs number eight sniffed it out. Looks like he's trying to go coast to coast. Ball's tipped away. Last touch by the, oh, they're going to say last touch by Cavs player number eight. Looked like it was tipped out of bounds, but the Knicks have the ball and a chance for a shot for the end of the third period play. Number two, same play as always. Dribble drive gets under a little too deep. Can't get it to go. We've got a kick violation. And that'll bring us to the end of the third period of play. Knicks 24, Cavaliers 13. Youth Basketball Game of the Week. All right, Cavaliers with the ball. Leading by 11. Nice pass inside for the Cavs. First shot's no good, put back no good. That was a good opportunity for the Cavs to get on the board here in the beginning of the fourth. Missed opportunity there. But they got to the basket. There's a three by number five. Shot's no good, put back is no good, but number 10 is fouled and will go to the free throw line with a chance to earn two. First shots up, banks it home. Second shots up, off the side of the rim, no good, but the Knicks are able to come down with their own rebound. Deep two by number eight, but he's fouled on the shot and will go to the free throw line and shoot two. Knicks have taken control of this game since about the last two minutes of the first half of play. First one's up, dances around the rim and falls off. Second one's up, banks it, no good, but the Cavs come down with the rebound. Number eight, a little hesitation, dribble drive, lobs it in to the big man down low. Shots up and good. Nice two-man game for the Cavs. They should keep, they should keep pumping that. See if they can get back in this game. Lead is only 10 with a lot of time left. They just need some stops and easy buckets. And they can get back in this. The Knicks have been patient. Nice pass inside, but stolen away by the Cavs. Number, Cavs number 10, slowing it down. See if they can get their offensive set going. Number three shots off the back of the rim. And 
Phoenix being patient on their offense. Nice pass into the low post. Tough shot. Cavs come down with the rebound, pushing the pace. Looking for the fast break. Oh, good look. Just a little too high as number three of the Cavs had saw his big man break free, but just couldn't get the pass to him. And right back at you, the Knicks try and sneak behind the Cavs' transition defense, but the Cavs' number seven's there to tip it away and cause the turnover. Let's see if the Cavs can get their big men down in the low post. I get 10 down low, I think. And the ball's lost out of bounds. Knicks get the ball on the turnover with a 10-point lead. There's a dribble drive by number five. Clean block, they say. But the shot, oh, but the loose ball is picked up by the Knicks and the shot counts for a 27-15 lead. Nice put back by the Cavs number 10, or number eight, excuse me. And we got three seconds in the key and there's a turnover by the Cavs. Working down to five, just about five minutes left in the game. Cavs need to put on a run here. There's a track down loose ball. Knicks get the shot off. Cavs come down with the rebound. Number two kicks it out. Little ball fake dribble drive number eight. Trying to power his way inside. It's turned away. Shot by number three. Goes over the rim. And rebound is taken down by the Knicks. Steal by the Cavs. Put that a foul on the shot, and the Cavs get a chance to score a couple from the free throw line. And that'll take us to the mandatory substitutions. So number 10 will shoot the free throws. Let's see. What they're going to bring the substitutions out. Uh, they're gonna leave the yep, they're gonna leave the five on for the free throws looks like, and then they will do the set mandatory substitutions after the two free throws. First one's up and it's good. Second one's up, off the front of the rim, no good, and the Knicks get the rebound. Now it's time for mandatory substitutions. All right, last five minutes of the game. Knicks with the ball and the lead, 27-16. Ooh. As number three of the Knicks falls down, looks like he's okay. Quick turnover. Let's see if the Cavs can get a little run going here. The end of the game. There's a... Deep two from the far side. Number five of the Cavs comes down with it. Launches his shot up and skips out of bounds. And the Knicks get the ball on the turnover. Go for the high post give and go play. Number two, shot comes up short. It's a good play though by the Knicks. I like it. Been pretty successful today. See if the Cavs can get anything going. As number five launches up a shot, no good. And last touch by the Knicks. Inbound pass stolen away. Number two catches his man, breaking free down court. Shots up off the back of the rim, no good, but is fouled. And number nine of the Knicks will go to the free throw line. Ticking as the clock ticks, tick tock down to the end of the game. 
First shot's up and count it. Second one's up. And nothing but the bottom of the net. Two good looking free throws by the Cavs number nine, or Knicks number nine. And the Knicks have a commanding 29 to 16 lead. Pass stolen away by the Knicks. See if they're patient and try and take some time off the clock. Nope, turnover. Cavs with a chance here. Cut into that lead a little bit. See if a little transition three by number two. I like the decision. You can see it in his eyes. He had daggers in his eyes as he came down court. No one stopped him. He pulled up and drained the three to cut the lead to 11. Let's see if the Cavs can get some defense going. Number two with another nice dribble drive. And the Cavs come down with a rebound. Let's see if they can get some back-to-back -back buckets, get some momentum here. Number four just taking it coast to coast. Can't get his shot off, but they have a double team violation. Cannot double team the ball. And so the Cavs have it. Let's see if they can get the ball inbounds without turning it over. It's been kind of tough. Nice pass inside. Number five can't get the shot to go. Ah, tough break for the Cavs on that one. Looked like they got a little bit of momentum. Might be able to get back to back buckets. But the Knicks have the ball. It's still an 11 point lead as we're under two minutes to go here in the game nice steal by the Cavs number four coast to coast just go for it nice block by the Knicks ow and falling down going for the ball was the Cavs number four nice hustle by number four of the Cavs and the Knicks have the ball Trying to get the ball back here. So we're under two minutes. So now the Cavs can do full court pressure here. Let's see if they can get a quick turnover in a bucket. Nope, Knicks get the ball in. Break down the full court pressure pretty quickly. Let's see if they kind of hold off and squeeze the clock a little bit. Looks like it as the Cavs try to extend their defense. Oh, nice pass down low. We got a travel violation on number three as he Makes a pivot and forgets to dribble the ball. Will step through. Needed one dribble. Let's see if number two can do another transition three. Just do it. That's what I say. Bang! Off the side of the rim. No good. Looked like it had a chance. As we nice lead pass. Shots up. Oh! As number three of the Knicks gets a high tier dropper from about a foot away. Tough angle, and the Knicks just put a seal on this game as we get under 30 seconds to go. Well played game by both teams. The Cavs just had a hard time on the offensive end. Nice block. And the Knicks just had that nice give and go play. They attacked the basket. <clears throat> and with a combination of a couple of threes, it was just the Knicks game today. Let's see if the Cavs can get a late bucket here. And they're gonna say, Knicks ball as we go to 10 seconds. And we'll probably just. And we got a quick foul. And the stop will clock. The clock will stop because we're under two minutes to play. And this will do it. Number two for a three to end the game off the front of the rim. And that'll end the game. And that'll do it for this week's Youth Basketball Game of the Week. Final score, Knicks 31, Cavs 18. We'll see you next time on Youth Basketball Game.